The representation of um, minorities in clinical trials, uh, I would describe it as low, low participation. The MSUP initiative specifically focuses to better understand the needs of these underserved populations uh, and trying to understand their disease, their phenotype, um, their genetic background and how that may be involved in the disease severity and disease progression. Part of the suspicion is that MS um, affects some populations a little bit differently and what I mean is down at the local level you'll have a higher prevalence in one community than in another community. And if you're able to pick up those signals uh, for the purposes of making sure that medications are safe and efficacious for individuals when they get it, uh, but even more important, those tiny little differences are signals to researchers about where can we explore to get better outcomes. Our clinical trials need to reflect the communities in which we actually live, and it needs to reflect the communities that we actually treat. The consequences of underrepresentation in MS clinical trials are that it is very difficult for us to generalize the results. So if only 1% or 2% of minorities are involved in those trials, how do we then say that this treatment uh, is equally as effective in all of these people? It's important to understand how medicines uh, impact uh, the disease state. And we know from a biology perspective or from a healthcare perspective, we need to understand the impact that medication will have on patients. Each group you know, has its own unique characteristics, and the more we understand what the impact of that medication is on that specific subpopulation, what we'll find is uh, a better understanding and hopefully uh, a medication that will be suitable for the right patient group.